talking to the mum too.
So I'm your best work. And uh, here we are with you now, with the uh, just back here with the big man. So uh, all happening here, finals day, plenty, uh, plenty doing. But we're back on now with nine minutes remaining, big man. And uh, yeah, so the, the previous uh, game. Plenty of support. Oh, I can't hear myself thinking. So it's all locked up here, Rob. Four a piece of tight and go on the attack. Right. A bit of an arm wrestle. We saw the Titans yesterday afternoon. And he crashes over. Straight under the black dot, so they go out to a four-point lead, kick to come, and you think he'll kick this right in front to make it six points margin, but that was on the back of three penalties too, so I think Barry Pryor Memorial team, they, they gave away, Rob, while you're away, three penalties within three minutes, and... Can't afford to do that? No, and it. it gave Titans that piggyback, and now they have crossed over the line and, and soon to be six points, but the ref did have a word to the uh, captain of the Barry Pryor Memorial team. And there's been and, a, um, just venturing over to, to field two and uh, hearing through the grapevine that there'd been one or two uh, sort of things popping up. It's, it's hot, it's heading into uh, heading into summer and a few, uh, with a bit of footy, people getting a bit hot under the collar and uh, as we have seen on the uh, website here and heard from the announcers all weekend that they're sanctioned by the Queensland Rugby League and uh, fully endorsed the positive environment program that the Queensland Rugby League is uh, holding. So with our match officials, they do a fantastic job. It's a tough gig out there. Yeah, they do a mighty job. Conversion successful. We could nearly throw that one over. And so a six-point lead, six minutes remaining in the half. And that'll go out on the full, so compounding the pressure on themselves here. Yeah, I don't think the coach would be happy with that. So once again, they, they give the Titans an opportunity to go on the attack. and Cheap opportunities at the moment. They're not having to work too hard for them. That's a good nudge. They'll be 20 metres out now. Hot on the attack. And now uh, Willis there with the tap. And it's Harry Johnson with a carry. Good metres there from Johnson. Down the short side, Willis spinning. Well, he nearly took his counterpart over the sideline there. On to Jeffrey Ross. And they're coming in quick succession now, Big Mark. On the back of silly errors by the Barry Pryor Memorial. Kicked it out on the on the full. Especially late in the half. Prior too. to that, they gave away three penalties within three minutes. Um, and now they paid because the Titans have crossed in the corner there. Ten points. Could be 12. Still four minutes to go, but uh, they'll be pretty happy with that. A uh, 10 or 12 point lead, the Titans. And I think at half time, the Barry Pryor Memorial coach, he's got to have a word to him. And it's all about don't give away penalties. It's the d discipline, like.
Mm. Away they go now, Barry Fryer, and we saw Ty Lalo just making his way onto the field. Strong contact there. Solid defense. Big carry there by the number 82. Yeah, Joseph Ross, the fullback here for Barry Pryor, tries to kickstart them in attack. A solid defence by the Titans there for Sierra, so they'll get the ball back here only 30, 33 metres out. With two minutes on the clock, that's an opportunity for points. And again. if they can score again, they'll blow this right out. Mm. Gonna go for him now. Scrum feed, centre field. 35 metres out. Comes off the right. So they're 12 metres out. Mistake there by the Titans, so Barry Pryor team get the ball. Well, there's a bit of feeling here, Rob. So Barry Pryor, they swing it here. They've got a bit of room, and he's away. It's a foot race. Way over the halfway. It's all over. He's only has to pass it, but he don't need to. He's going to crash over in the corner. And now it is game on. Barry Pryor Memorial team have scored in the corner, and it is 14-8 kick to come. And only six seconds left on the clock in the first half. And there goes the siren, half time in the background so with the kick to come it is memorial barry Pryor memorial team eight titans 14 kick to come but that is half time To the half, we've got uh, we had it all happening. Yeah, Try in the corner, scored in the corner right on the uh, half time. And then, then uh, if he kicks this, Rob, it's then it's a little um, set two. Then it's only six po points. Boys might have just been checking to see uh, where the after party might be going. Where are we going, Mad Cow, or are we heading to Palmer Street? I think that's all they're just doing over there, exchanging. Yeah, a bit of you words. shout the first, I'll grab yeah. next. Who's buying the chicken snitties? It's just a, you're having a bit of a yarn there. Palmer, palmy. Palm, That'll yeah. set the boys off. I'm not a fan of the palmies. Not a fan? Nah, my daughter Emily loves them, but I, I just a chicken snitty man. Gravy? Yeah, mate. Inversion it's got to be mushroom gravy. Fourth, oh, geez, he gave that every chance, but it's away. The, uh, so we'll finish the half at 14 so half points to eight here. 
and the Barry Pryor Memorial team are back in the game now, only trail by six. So we've seen in that previous game, Rob, uh, United come out, they were only two points behind, but the, they scored three tries in that second half in, in five minutes and went on to win the game. So a bit the of a coach will uh, have a word to them and say, look, we're making too many silly mistakes. So they, Barry Pryor Memorial gave away three penalties within three minutes. They kicked out on the full, so if they just get those silly mistakes out of the game, they are in this game up to their ears. So it'll be a good second half. And who, do you think the Titans can go on in the second half and win it, or you go on, which way are you going? He's, uh, I think I know a few of the boys down here in this Barry Pryor side, so there's certainly some points There's certainly some points in them. They won't put off by that scoreboard. Right. But I think you're, you're spot on. It's just about who controls the ball better here at the I moment. I think so. so. I think there was too many silly mistakes for the Barry Pryor team. But the coach will address that. Certainly he, will. He'll have, a, he'll have a word to him. It's pretty simple say, hey, let's reset, reset, come back out in the second half and just do the – no silly mistakes, do the right thing, make good ground, kick in the uh, corners. It's a simple game, rugby league, isn't it? Sometimes it is. we just overcomplicate it. They, they do. That's correct. So – We'll have a break and we'll be back to call the second half where Titans lead 14 points to eight. So it's currently a six-point deficit for Barry Pryor Memorial here at the start of the second.
कुछ है मुद्दा हो Referee blows time on and we're away. Second half action here in the quarterfinals of the uh, second tier. Cool and quick stepping. Well, we have wasted no time here. The Titans getting into this one. The 23 cast of Veribus there, showing some elite footwork. And uh, Danny Griezmann taken down. 35 metres out. They're right in centre field now, and they're straight away on the attack. And that's Uwe there. Now 20 metres out. Well, this is a great first set. Oh, I'll put the mock on him. I'll put the mock on. And, mate, you can do that too. I know you go to the races and you go to the early crow. I've had some bad beats. Uh, yesterday was no exemption. So they'll pick the scrum and the Barry Pryor Memorial team will get the ball. Bit of a let off there. They were building to something early on. The Titans. I still think Barry Pryor Memorial team's chance of winning the game if they can just do the basic things, you know, no, give no silly errors, penalties. Good run up the, the centre there, made a good eight to nine metres. Puts it up high. Right. See what the bounce Awkward. does. Favour him. Oh, and that's a good win there too, the Barry Pryor Memorial, because they'll get the ball back. It's a good answer back because the yeah. Titans came out of the blocks fast. They did, and now Barry Pryor team. See if he'll go the short. Drop out here. Uh, it's back in favour of the short drop out. We saw the Walker brothers. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say, Rob. Ago. It was the Walker brothers when they coached the Ipswich Jets. That was their thing. And, um, and now the NRL, a lot of the teams are doing it. Yeah. They can't get themselves a coaching gig, the uh, Walker boys, but so you do see some of their uh, traits making its way into modern day NRL. Yeah, 20 metres out, centre field here for Barry Pryor Memorial. Slow play the ball. Good solid run to take him, only about yeah. six metres out from the line. About to say, they'll have to watch Mills Pryor here from dummy half because he is an exponent in close to the uh, close to the line. Well, good ball. He, oh, he's lost it over the line. No, he, he likes it, I think. It. He likes it. And the 17, Trey Valentine. I thought he lost that over the line, but... Well, he's got the benefit of the doubt from the man who was closest to it. And they're right back in this one now. Game on. It's uh, young Trey Valentine. Yeah, Trey's game on for brothers. sure. Yeah, you think he'll kick this, so it, he'll be all locked up at 14 apiece. And... Fantastic season he had, young Trey Valentine. Premiership winner this year with uh, brothers. Son of Sean Valentine. Cowboys legend. Yeah, so they've... Shout Very out to Val if he's watching on. Brothers. Don't know whether I haven't spotted Val uh, in and around the ground, so but shout out to Val if you're watching on at home, mate. Yeah! The 
kick is successful, so it's all wrapped up. 14 apiece, Barry Pryor Memorial way with the Titans. The uh, great Indian one-day cricketer, everything now is even Stevens. Now you're expecting a response here from the Titans. Floating. Good metres. Out to the 20 on the first carry. No, that's not the coaching box up here, folks. That's just uh, some local support here for the Barry Prime Memorial. There's the big number 20, Munrabi. He's dragged down now, 12 metres short of halfway. Mills Pryor, Rayshan that is, a couple of the boys in there, Memorial side. And Ali. It's just a little bit too much on that kick, so he won't be happy with that as he'll give the prior team a set of six, a seven. Looked like it was going to hold up for a second there, but just kicked and kept going. And the Titans into some heavy collision. Ty laid low over the top there. And look to go to the left. Maybe Daniel Griezmann there. Looks right in the big fronty on the right. He was uh, all wound up. Nowhere to go as they went to the left. Oh, and uh, the ball goes to ground. It's play on. It's play on here. Greasemill puts it down into the corner. Brought back by uh, Gresham Ross. Isaiah Blackman now, brought to ground, 12 metres short of halfway, just to the left of the uprights. Oh, geez. Good defence by the Titans. They take him back a good three metres there, so they've really, really muscled up here now in defence, the Titans. And this is certainly a battle. It's still 10 metres short of halfway here, late in the tackle count. Hanson Murdoch. On the last, he puts it up high. Floating. Oh, awkward. Oh, fair Duncan. I thought he might have got him for a high shot there, but he got away I with it. I thought the uh, contact sort of glanced off him there, but we have seen those ones called. Well, it's the Titans now that are under the pump. They had a lot of the running early in this match. And there's a penalty. Yeah, Marker wasn't square and he's been pinned, so this will take the pressure off. So the Titans will go on the attack. Johnson here, lines up Alley and goes straight over him, but uh, over the top was the number three, Andrew Willis. Aiden Lanton there, taken down, 32 metres out. Away on the right-hand edge. And Dylan Newton dragged down now, five metres out. Brooks. 
Set to the left, plenty of numbers. Trying to crash over. Plenty of vocal support here for the uh, Barry Mills Prior Amora side. Johnson back out. Lampton takes three defenders to carry him down. And that'll be a changeover. Yeah, so Missed opportunity there. It was. They had numbers to the right, just couldn't get there. What a one-off stuff there. So here they go. Barry Prime Memorial team are on the roll. Just shy of the halfway. Locked up, 14 apiece. 13 minutes, 47 on the clock in our second of our quarterfinals. Good shot over the top. Inside the 40 here. Just couldn't nice get the bounce. Shot. Noble now. So now they put the pressure back on them. They require them more. And they can roll their sleeves up here, Rob, in defence. Force that error and then go back on the attack as the Titans run it up. Thirteen minutes remaining in this quarterfinal. Jeffrey Ross flirts with the sideline and he's in a touch. Good defence there by Edward Pryor. Just showed him the outside. Jeffrey normally plays his footy in the middle there and decided to take him on. Wasn't a lot of room to work with, though. No, he was in um, danger territory there, right on that sideline. So once again, now it's Barry Prime Memorial team to get a good set of six here. Get a couple of big fours, a couple of settlers up the up the middle, and then swing it wide. Well, they had an overlap, but decided to take a or a penalty there. Yeah, for being in the ten here. It's right at the tipping point. This match, whoever scores next, it's going to be a big advantage. Especially now, we're getting eleven minutes into the. To go in the, the last next try could be half, vitally so important. Good opportunity for the Barry Prime Memorial team as they go on the charge. They're 12 metres out from the line. He's trying to now find Raymond. a way through. He spins it off, oh, track and ball, and he scores in the corner. And ladies and gentlemen, the Barry Prime Memorial team have scored and now it is 18 points to 14 Barry Fryer Memorial team in front. Well, it uh, didn't look like there was too much doing. It was just a set they were rolling through and then uh, it was uh, Ray, Raymond Pryor there, jumped out of dummy half, skipped across a couple and found the uh, hard-charging William Pryor. Yeah, and they score. It's in the corner, so it's a difficult kick, but if he kicks it, That'll give him a six-point buffer. But still plenty of time, Rob. We've got 10 minutes 47 on the clock. Now, that battle through some adversity, the Barry Prime Memorial. Yeah, and it looks like they want to make a couple of changes here to uh, Barry Prime Memorial coaches barking some orders. Did someone to come off or...? Make a change, get some fresh air. He's making a change here. Well, the crowd vocal today. No, he just wanted to have a chat to the halfback who. Big crowd. 
coming in. We'll expect a bigger crowd later on yeah, today as the games build. Crowd come final time around that three o'clock in the afternoon when the girls. And the completion final. of this, we switch over to our Davco Farming Cup. And uh, we've got a massive couple of games coming up there in the Davco Farming quarterfinals. Arab United taking on the Colin Rose Memorial. Arab United were impressive yesterday, putting on a score. And that team I jumped on earlier, are they still... The Warabinder Warriors. Yeah. We'll see them a little bit later on. And that they've got a matchup. Warabinder taking on the Thugger Warriors. Now, that oh, will be a battle on of the Titans. Okay? Uh, on field two, that one will be. So oh, gee, I'll, have to, I'll have to keep an eye on the coverage. The Lord Mayor of Warabinder here. Yeah, I, I've jumped on bag. And so I got here, ladies and gentlemen, yesterday afternoon. And that was the first game we called, Rob. And I jumped on the wagon there. So I'm, I'm backing them all the way. But I'm on the Dolphins in the women's final. I've Fins just up. gone. So Finns up there. So the Finns are up on the Dolphins for the girls' final. But um, still some cracking football to be played here today. And now that kick was successful. So it's 20 points for 14. Plenty more stories to be written here today. Nothing really doing there. He's 15 metres out. Now they muscle up the Titans. See if they can force an error. Eight minutes to go in the second half of this quarterfinal. Oh, loose ball now. And he's lost. And the he's ball. just said so it's a knock on. Opportunity now for the Titans to go on the attack. They've got to find an answer now. Eight minutes. It's not uh, desperate stations no, yet. not yet, but, but this is their, their that, what, 40 out. Conversion certainly made it difficult, making it a six-point game. But here, straight through the middle, slicing through again, is uh, Casta Veribus. And there's number five. Oh, big run. Oh, oh how's that? Over. Spinning, lunging. That was a try. And that is a vintage Chris Greavesmill. Oh. We've seen him at South, Penrith. He's back here now playing with boys. And that there, he just charged onto it, spun off two, and slammed it down. Yeah, no, the, the, um, good try. Gets him now. They'll they lock it, it up. It's an easy kick for him. So not only do they need it to, obviously, they were chasing points, but they just needed it there to just steady the ship a little bit. They'd, they'd fallen in a bit of a hole with Titans. So what are the, the rules in um, carnival football if they are locked up at uh, full time? Yeah, so generally we'd uh, go back to our first try scorer, I think, until semi-final stages, but I will get confirmation of that for you folks at home. The kick is successful, and we're all locked up. Barry Pryor Memorial 20, Titans 20, six minutes, 40 seconds left on the clock. We are watching the second quarterfinal here at the Townsville North Reserve. And Rob, strap yourself in. I think we're in for a big finish. That's it. You can give the uh, you can give the middle of your seat a break because you'll be on the edge of it now for the next six and a half. Jeez, I still can't call this one. It could go all no, the way. I'm going to go Barry Prime Memorial. Oh, a, yeah. I, I'm going to go. You've been called a lot of things, but you've never been called a fence setter, big man. Yeah, no, I'm telling you now. I think they, if they muscle up here for Sierra, but yeah, I'll go the Barry Prime Memorial team. Good They're meters at the up. moment. Good meters at the moment for the Titans. Yeah, Titans go on the attack. And it'll be that man Griezmann, I reckon, that they've got to look for. So oh. here's their opportunity now, Rob. There's a mistake there by the Titans. So the Barry Prime Memorial team, they'll, they'll get the ball. 40 out. Now they'll get, uh, I guess, now down this half, they'll get first opportunity at, at trying to ice this one. We think in field goal yet? Not yet. No, it's still plenty of five minutes to go. The winner will be the first class scorer. 
There we go. I think just a good set and then try and put it in the end goal, get the ball back, just add pressure, add pressure. So, there you go, so folks. Barry Prime Memorial, the team, they have the ball with the halfback, but he's taken in. A, oh, a penalty. And they don't need anything silly because, as we Come heard on. just over the uh, loudspeaker yeah. there, that in the event of a draw in the quarterfinal stages, the first try scorer goes through. And the first try scorer here is Barry Prime Memorial. So they right. do have the advantage in their so, hands at the minute. Okay. All they need is a draw. So if it's locked up after full time, the first try scorer. And he's in the bin. Well, there's probably only one way it had to go there. It uh, did get beyond the horizontal. Just got a yeah. little bit away from him, that tackle. So now the pressure's on the Titans. They've only it got is. 12 They men. must score. Barry Prime Memorial now, they just need to defend this one out. But the Four Titans minutes. must score. But they won't be thinking draw. No, they're just a good as he kicks out. So they're on the attack here, only 10 metres out. Oh. He's on over. Well, here you go, 10 metres out. Three minutes and 40 seconds remaining. Quarter final. Just a couple of settlers. We've already got one of our semi finalists decided. Or two of our semi finalists decided. As it was east. Oh, oh. a little bit of. Oh, look yeah, at this. This is threatening to boil over here. So they go. Oh, I did oh, Hang on, here we go. Well, you're going to get a grandstand finish here. Oh, we dropped the ball. So now, the Barry Pride Memorial now that team there. Had to go only 12 metres out from the line. Rayshan Mills Pryor, and that was a Rayshan Mills Pryor special. That young man does not mind putting his head in front. And he took it on himself there to go right. So two minutes, Come with me, men. 46 on the clock, Rob. Now we're thinking field goal? Oh, not yet. No, <laughs> I, I think they'll score in this set of six, Barry Pryor. Geez, you've had a fair strike rate, too. They've so only you... got 12 men tied, and so there's going to be an overlap out wide here. If they could just settle a couple early and then swing it deep, I think they'll score in the corner. Let's Remember see how that they, they don't need to score at the moment, Barry Pryor. They were no first try scorer. Pressure. So a couple of more settlers by the big fellas. Well, Dave Mills cried down on his knees at the moment. Once again, straight up the middle. Trey Valentine right in front of the sticks. If they wanted a field goal, they could get it. One minute, 56 on the clock. They're not, oh, they have set up, I think. They have. They have swung it wide. It was a bad pass from dummy half. Well, he thinks about popping back up too, but now they go to the now right edge. Swing it out wide. Willis now taking Greavesing all over the top. Jeffrey Ross involved as well. So two left in the play. And I must Scramble. say, it, it's on the last. There's no thought of a fear bell at all. They want to repeat that. Oh, oh there it is. Well, the crowd tell a story there. That one's the in the history Fire books. Memorial team go advance. And, uh, geez, I reckon you're five from five, big man. You Mate, I'm it. on fire on the tip and on the rugby league. It's not so good on the uh, horses, but um, Barry Pryor Memorial team now will go into the next stage of our finals. They got a bit lucky too because I was just about to say I thought that was a very ordinary set of six by by Barry Pryor Memorial. They got a bit of luck at the end. They have scored. They'll kick to come and they'll win the win it. But um, just a few mistakes. Now they've got plenty a platform to build off. But uh, so already through this morning we saw Castle United and uh, Eastern Warriors in field two. And so now. 
Okay. And they've got a good fan base out the front here. Yeah, they, they've already started the chant for the Barry Pryor Memorial team. And the hooter sounds in the background with the kicks that come. You'll think he'll kick it over. Big shout out to a very brave Illinois Titans. They've been entertaining the Yeah, they've done well, the Titans. They stuck in there. They gave it their best. The kick is successful. Barry Pryor Memorial team have won 26 points to 20 in a very exciting uh, match, quarterfinal number two, where the Barry Pryor Memorial will advance. And to the Titans team, they've done a great effort over the last couple of days, but unfortunately they have gone down to the Briar, Barry Pryor Memorial team. We, uh, as I exit the carnival, we do send our congratulations to them on a fantastic carnival to all the players, staff and supporters of the Illinois Titans as they leave the carnival. And uh, we'll change up. We've got a great matchup coming up. It'll be Arab United versus Colleen Rose Memorial.